What's up boys and girls, welcome to the BFF's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys tap the bell, subscribe, like the video, and comment down below. Okay, BFFs, uh, let's get right into this week's headlines and we start with you, Josh. You told us you were playing in that beach volleyball game. Uh, you guys got smoked, but you did manage to go viral with it looks like Always. some, and we can play the video, Gruen sent this to me, um, mm. with some dude who tried to pants you in the middle of the game. Yo, you so know, let's watch the video. I stayed calm and collected. Actually, <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Well, we'll watch the video. Kid's got some sick glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Holy shit. Oh my, oh my god. That looks intense. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh, oh. It's squaring up. Oh my god. It's squaring up. Holy. Who are these oh, the boys. At? The boys. The team. Let's go. He got pants and then. Peter, boys. Don't take shit from no one. Guy. And you got to fucking set the tone. Did you fucking know him at all? Yeah, did he know him at all? So what happened when you caught him? You can't really see. Like, what happened? Yeah, so I pretty much caught him. And then, like, you see me kind of, like, put throw him to the ground. Kind of, like, put him on the ground. And then uh, he was just, like, I just, like, pushed his face into the ground. Or, like, pushed his head into the sand or something. I was like, what the, like, what the fuck were you trying to do, man? Right? Because it was, like... Super, super caught off guard. I was about to go, like, serve, right. by the way. Was, like, going third serve in a row. Nicest serving of the tourney. So I was like, now this kid's in my head. Great. But, no, throw him on the ground. Throw his face to the ground, whatever. He, he looks up at me, and he's, like, cradling. And he's like, he's like, please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Like, my, friend pays, my friend's paid me $100. Please don't hit me. And then I was like, all right, now I feel bad. So I was like, dude, like, bro, if you want to see my ass, like, I'm easy. I'm not that easy. Bring me a flower. Do something else. Like, come on. Then I walked away, and then I turn around, and there's 10 guys, like, all on my team. And, like, half of these guys are either, like, junior A hockey players or they're drafted to an NHL team. And they're all just trucking towards this kid. And I was like, all right, guys, yo, like, I think, I think we're good. Like, I, I don't want to, like, get, get this kid any more embarrassed than he already is. And then we all turn around. Like, we turn around. Like, I turned around and looked when I was saying it. And he's hiding behind a pillar, like, of the pier. He was like, probably horrified. Like, he saw oh, all these guys 100%. running after us. Yeah, no. I mean, but we all just like turned around and left, and that was it. Never saw the kid again. So here's how I caught wind of this. Michael Gruen sent me his tweet. The only thing at Josh Richards did wrong here was not sending this person to the hospital on a stretcher with a concussion and a broken jaw. <laughs> The entitlement and gall of some people is beyond me. Josh showed a lot of restraint. Admirable. Vintage I am just a good guy. Trump tweet. <laughs> I am just a good guy, man. Where really did you show restraint, day. though? You fucking ran after this kid what do you, and put his I, face I in the I sand. could have just... Ru he's, he has a point. I mean, like, I could have... I guess... I, I would have been uncalled for, but I guess I could have rocked his jaw. Like, you're telling me you get pants. No, I would have wanted to, too. This well, right, well, right. Like, come well, on. Listen, I, I'm Team Josh Richards... You're, he attempted to pants you. Like, he didn't pants you at all. It was a failed, like, pants. Well, so I guess if you I run and it. break his jaw, that's true. I think people are going to be like, whoa, that was a little bit of an extreme reaction. Right, yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's what I was like, all right, probably don't need to have all these guys now go and, like, yell at the kid as well. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, let's yeah. just go back to the game and ha watch me serve beauty aces all day long. <laughs> how, how aware of you were, like how big the kid was when you took after him like did it factor in like okay i can go after this kid versus like what if you do i, I just was like I just, what if that kid's 6'4 like 240 i really was just like holy fuck i just got pantsed in front of so many people that i know are videoing right now right at this tournament i'm gonna get roasted on my fucking podcast if i don't go run and chase after this kid that's actually what went through my head so it was like I, I, you had to. You matter. did the right yeah, thing. Yeah, like, I was you like, can't it let doesn't matter. Pants you like that. However big the kid is, it's like I can't let him. I but guess, it wasn't pants a pants. Me. I mean, the pants for whatever reason didn't go down. How many people is that crowd all there for you guys, or is that like a big tournament in general? It's a big tournament in general. Got like, it. It's yeah. No, they their like record breaking attendance at that tournament was like in 2010 or something like that, or like 75,000 people. 
Jesus. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like so something it is huge. ridiculous like that. Yeah. Okay. So Josh, the enforcer, we got to see that. Um, BFFs in the headlines causing some hype house drama. I didn't know about this till I read the headlines. So we, we aired the Thomas. I did know. I know whenever I talk about Huddy that my messages start, my DMs start lighting up. Right. And I love it. Like right. the, when TikTok people get mad at me, they're so vicious. They're so like. They want it, you to they, die. They literally want you to kill yourself. They say that. It's bad. No, <laughs> not yeah. enough. They want you to die in like a horrific, gruesome fashion that like causes a chain reaction where everybody you know dies in a gruesome <laughs> yeah, fashion. Yeah, that's what they want. Yeah, yeah. They're they get brutal. gruesome so, with it. They uh, like get into detail. Yeah. So Thomas Petro interviews Start Up Drama. Because apparently Thomas didn't stand up for Little Huddy on the pod. Even Little Jeez. Huddy, his mother liked to tweet about the incident. It was a girl called Lean. Um, what hurts the most is that he considered him family. Whenever someone asked him who's your closest friend, he would say Thomas. Yet he goes and laughs at dumb jokes without worrying about his friends and his feelings. What kind of friend is that? Chase deserves better. Mama Huddy, is that her fucking name? <laughs> Mama she probably she it. probably runs by that. She probably runs by the name Mama Huddy. But that's a hard name. That I would say that's a great friend, actually. I gotta be honest. I don't, these TikTok people they're so literal, and I don't. I got that's why I gotta meet Huddy. I can't believe anybody would be this serious. But like, we weren't mean to him in the last episode. No. We were like, get him on the show. Like, let's let's joke around with him. Yeah. Thomas Petro was with us. Be like, yeah, I don't know, but he wasn't mean to him. And what? Thomas Petro wrote, which I actually agree and makes me like him even more. His response to this whole thing, people are too dramatic. We live with 15 people. We all roast each other and Chase would roast all of us too. I've helped Chase through everything he's ever needed, been there for him through his darkest times. We've been friends for almost three years and this is how our friend group choked around. My comment on the podcast wasn't that deep. I don't have a sense of style. I think 90% of other people don't have one either. I've already apologized to him privately for my comments. The only thing I disagree, what are you apologizing? Yeah, Anybody what the fuck watched you- that was like, Thomas is going after little Huddy insane absolutely it was I don't, way too deep hey sorry man i made a joke at you that one time <sighs> my bad dog what type and, of friend like what friendship is that if my and, friends aren't roasting me on a daily basis they're probably not looking out for me we had a and, whole and to, game roasting each other's outfits on this podcast we yeah and cry. to be honest I don't think he even said anything. We're like, let's get him on. I think he's got whack fashion. He's like, ha ha, yeah, I don't think he'd go on. I, that's how I, whatever. <laughs> yeah. you, this TikTok world, all the little hud, mama huddy and little, the, the dude's <laughs> killing it. Give it a fucking break. Like, we haven't even said he wears weird clothes. That's an insult. What are we talking about? Yeah, the guy the guy does music and like modely stuff. Of course he's going to wear weird clothes. We're going to comment on it. Probably yeah. going to make Probably going to make a joke. At what point do you realize, like, hey, you're a pretty public figure. Like, what you wear, (laughs) especially when you wear wild shit, that, like, people are going to talk about. Who fucking cares? That's part of the deal. It's a better thing that people are talking about it. A hundred percent. Chef Donnie, one of our own, is fighting a TikToker in our next Rough and Rowdy. I have no idea who this kid is. He's. I know this kid. You know him. Oh, yeah, QCP. QCP. What's his deal? He's a he's an Italian chef, I believe, right? Yeah, he's like he a TikTok the, uh, chef. Battle of yeah, the chefs. Yeah. Let's let's see. I want to see the uh, promo videos. What's good, it's Chef Donnie. You see me jump out of planes. You see me scale buildings. You see me crush buses. Well, now it's time to get into a fight. I'm sick and tired of seeing all these TikTok kids with fake muscles dancing around with their shirts off, living fake lives. It's time somebody puts them in their fucking place. Throw me a TikToker. Throw me Bryce Hall. Throw me QCP. Matter of fact. Fuck that kid. He's always cooking with his shirt off. He doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. He's a fake Italian, a fraud human being, and it's time he gets his fucking ass kicked. August 27th, I'm coming for these TikTokers. Don't let the no head gear scare you. I'm coming to scramble some fucking brains. Okay, so let me see the QCP kid who looks ripped in that little promo. He's pretty big. This kid's pretty big. This this is just type is uh, TikToks. He doesn't have a promo yet. Got it. Let's make pasta bolognese, bitch. Let's get started. Well, Chicks must love this dude, right? Yeah. Ground beef and pork. We gotta get a body shot. Oh, no. Yeah, I know. Fuck it. Italy's blood. That puree. Salt, bitch. 
yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Mm. How big is he? He's, he's I don't mean like muscles, guy. I mean like He just has a couple oh. million. For yeah. sure. I think he has seven million, eight million, oh, eight million yeah. on TikTok. All right, so there we go, and I'll stick. I don't know if we have the other headline, but sticking with the TikTok fighting, I saw James Harden, and again, this is Gruen sent to me. James Harden is suing um, the TikTok fight, yeah, Austin McBroom, McBroom yep. for like two million. I guess they only got one hundred thirty-six thousand pay-per-view buys. Total disaster. So nobody got paid. Holy so, shit. So. Can we just take him BFFs like broke the craziest news ever of the summer though? Credit to you, credit to Gru and all. I, yeah. That, B that is amazing. So what was, was the a, final pay per view? What was it? One hundred thirty six thousand yeah. less than what we had for Jose Canseco's fight. Jesus, didn't we, weren't we projecting like a million, or they were projecting a million? That's what they were. That's yes. what Austin said. Two point two. Holy shit! Yeah. So no one got paid. Do you think like everyone's gonna sue them? Like is Vinny and Bryce gonna sue them, or are they just gonna let it happen? I mean, I think they're all going to get, but it's like yeah. getting blood from a stone. Like you, you can't can even sue, get anything. But yeah, I think they are. I think they are going to. I think I saw Vinny a quote. He was supposed to get like eight hundred grand or five hundred grand. He's gotten eighty five thousand. Bryce was supposed to get five million. I don't know what he's gotten, but t sounds Probably like a hundred. I mean, obviously, if you're promising all these numbers. Only one hundred thirty six thousand people bought it. That's insanely bad. Yeah, it's no, really the, bad. And all the, the crazy performers. part is, yeah. That's and what I was about to say. That you go down like Lil Baby, like all these guys were charging five hundred thousand, three hundred thousand dollars for like two, three songs at that event. Yeah, it's crazy. The, so all the rage, obviously, after that fight was who's fight next? Let's make all this money so fast. Not so fast. Apparently, no this is getting paid. The cash cow because yeah. the audience doesn't buy fights. Like that was the week before was. Uh, Mayweather and Logan Paul, a shit ton of people bought that fight. Wildly successful. You thought the next week was going to be not at all. Unbelievable. Fake, fake. It's, it's because, I think it's because of free streaming. It man. was. It, everyone yeah. was free streaming. It's so it. brutal. Like TikTok has made it a trend now. Every single time there's a huge fight like that. You go through your For You page that day, 24 hours before. You come across 10 videos that are just accounts that are saying like, hey, illegally streaming the the fight on my account tonight. So then people just go on their phones, yep. watch the stream from that phone, watch the stream from the computer, go on the website, just like airplay it to their TV. Like, why spend the 50 yeah. bucks? That's like a, um, I think that's really a demo issue. You know, yep. the, like Mayweather has the older typical pay-per-view crowd that doesn't do that. Yeah. And the younger people are more tech savvy and more willing to do that. Crazy. Um, the baby gets canceled, removed from Lala. You were there, right, Bree? Yeah. So he got canceled when I was at Rolling Loud. He said all of this crazy shit. You were at Rolling Loud and Lala? No, I only went to oh, Rolling Loud, and Rolling Loud like, is geez. no. Yeah, this is when he said it at Rolling Loud. All the like shit about AIDS and just him being so blatantly homophobic. It was really. It, crazy. it was actually the the craziest quote I've actually ever seen the whole ever crowd like i looked around i thought i was hearing shit like he, he said aids and then he said sucking dick in the parking lot and yeah. then pussy wet like water and we were like what is this a mad lib and then like all the videos came out and it was just so bad so like all the people in the crowd there they didn't even know what was going on really no everyone was just looking over their shoulder like what did he just say what is going on the crowd was like super not into it or hype at all yikes yikes yeah maybe don't don't say fuck AIDS on a public platform. I mean, the quote and is crazy. Wild. It's yeah. a wild quote. And they doubled down on it originally. And yeah, I mean. Wait, I, he keeps going like, after. Did he comment after and say, like, I agree with what I said? He made it he, very much worse. Yes. Yeah, he doubled down. He, he doubled down on the comments. And then he was dropped by a bunch of brands, festivals. And then he apologized a week later. I got to be honest. I feel like you go in different verticals and certain types of whether it be athletes entertainers whoever some people have more leniency than others if you get in trouble as like a rapper you really said something fucking yeah, wild you, yeah you went you, you had to have something said something wrong. bad and he um, definitely did well what i'm wondering is like do you think that's the end of the baby though because no he, no. he got canceled from Everything. Like, no who's going to be the first person to let him back at a festival, though? No one's going to want to be that person. 
Yeah, uh, but a festival is different than probably like his concert. Yeah, like, true. I'm sure his fans will still go. And oh, people, hundreds. if you can put asses in the seats, short memories. True. I feel Very like people short. have short memories. True. Uh, um, Lollapalooza, some videos to watch. Gates rushed at Lala. They do this every year. Also. Yeah, every year this happens. It's like a I've never tradition. been. Have you guys been? No, I haven't. It no. looked way better than Rolling Loud. <laughs> Oh, I've never seen that before where a gate's just blatantly open. I gotta be honest, festive, the first of all, that video sucked. Second of all, <laughs> yeah. festivals are my hell on earth. Like, I, yeah. unless I was getting pampered and in an area where, like, I'm secluded, it's nice, I can sit. Other than that, I, I wouldn't wish a festival on my worst enemy. Now, maybe I'm old. But I just no, I saw bodies getting dragged out at Rolling Loud. It was horrifying. I went to Made in America. Definitely not. I, it's not as big of a, as a festival as like Rolling Loud, right? Like they're vi on different scales, I believe. But even there, there's people like passing out beside you. Like you randomly someone starts having a seizure. Like there's people like so mollied out. Like, Everyone's like, on they drugs, yeah. They don't know where they are. Not a clue. Like it... It's the craziest atmosphere ever. It is. And now, you're just I so did. hot. So uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, that's the part. It's like my it's dream like, is probably... To go, have you, you guys heard of like glamping? Yes. Gl what? Glamorous camping, right? I would do glamorous Burning Man. Glamorous Burning Man. Okay. Oh, at... I guess they kind of had that at Rolling Loud. I they know. had tables. Oh, at Rolling Loud. Yeah. At, at, like Burning Man, you can do, I, you see like super wealthy, like you, you got like a RV that's like the fucking Ritz. Mm -hmm. You're not yeah, in with yeah. the dirty people. No offense to the dirty people, but I, like. <laughs> no you're, offense you're just, to the fucking peasants. <laughs> you're doing drugs in a controlled, nice, like, yeah, sign me up for that. But I've never, and that's not even me being old. I've never been like a festival. I've never been like, oh, right. I want to go ultra or I want to go fucking rolling loud. No, uh, just not my scene. Um, man, I love this move though. Man buries alcohol three weeks before Lollapalooza and dicks it up. This is just like, you almost hire a guy who thinks like this. Right. No, you have to. And you can't get him in trouble. You can't. The no. Commitment? no. Come this on. is a power move. Heart. I've never seen heart like this. How did he remember it was there? <laughs> that, uh, yeah. The treasure uh, map. That's why I wanted Pitbull. Because I knew my shit out here. Oh my God. Holy shit. Brilliant. Brilliant. He must have had like an X there, just like a literal treasure hunt to get that. Yeah. Brilliant. That's awesome. Um, MGK, Megan Fox at Lollapalooza. Can MJK see? No, that I'm not believing that that's his hair. That's a wig, or that he has extensions. How did that happen so fast? Wait, well, I don't even understand what just happened. What? What? I. I, okay, I was like, look what am at, I watching? Look at MGK. Yeah. Look You're at his hair. I yeah, he has long hair, right? But it wasn't that. Oh, was it on chair? That looks fake. It looks like a wig to me. Oh, it looks like he like straightened it or something. Right, or he what has like about? extensions. That's totally his hair. I don't know. It's like doesn't move when he walks. I'm not buying it. I feel like it's not his hair. That's 100% his hair. What are we talking about? Bro, I feel like it's not. Are, are we saying like he can't see because the hair or because it looks like he's like maybe fucked up because he has two girls like walking No, because around. of the hair. Who's the okay. first girl? His daughter. MGK has a daughter? Yep, that's his oh, daughter. yeah. I didn't, All right, I forgot who put that. this on there? I don't even, what are we? That's his hair <laughs> and that's just him walking. I don't. Everyone. There's controversy. I mean, yeah, there's thinks, a lot of people that are very confused with this hair and that it looks horrible. I mean, we we, we had him. That was what his hair. But his, his hair, hair didn't look like that, did it, Kareem? Yeah, yeah, kind of. No, during the pizza no, review, no, it was not that long. Well, he had like product. It probably rained. He got wet. No, look. That's what difference. I'm saying. Like, what if he just no. straightened his hair that day? All right, here's the pizza review for comparison. Yeah, we need comparison. See, okay, he's wearing a wig. Or he didn't cut his hair. No, his hair is bleached. It would not grow that fast, and it's a wig. And I'm, I'm sticking with that. Mm, okay, I think it's real hair. I don't like. <laughs> strange. Yeah. Uh, what ass pussy sense. interpreter at Lollapalooza? Lot of Lala. I wanted to check how the interpreters were signing WAP and. Let's go. 
Jackson. Suddenly, MGK and Megan Fox showed up. That's his fucking hair. I can't, I can't get myself to believe that's his Was hair. this like a trick video? Because it's about to be like, what's the point of this video? And then his hair came by. Did you see the oh, are, Wait, are we just going to, we're just going to pass I mean, over got that girl literally virtually you, sucking you have the to. dick? Yeah, she was sucking. That was crazy. You have to. You, you you can't get like just a normal like uh, press conference interpreter when you're doing wet ass pussy. <laughs> Addison Ray and Omar that? Fetty. <laughs> Guys, what, <laughs> what, 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 what need, do we do? You you need context. So that <clears throat> that story that looks like they were kissing. Addison has said before that her and Omar aren't dating, but Omar reposted that story to his page so people are saying she was lying about them not dating and they actually are because that story this guy yes yep, remember redhead. we talked about him a couple weeks ago she's not dating that guy I she is <laughs> that, that, that was the kiss though dave that was the kiss right there she i don't know what they're doing but she's not dating that guy <laughs> why why is indeed why adam and eve <laughs> it's fucking logic bro <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean i don't know what they're doing i don't know what that was I right, know this. Right. It's getting dark tonight. They ain't dating. Period. Wait, wait. What? What did? When did? Do we know when Addison posted that? Yeah, a couple days ago. Do you think maybe oh she she posted that because she was trying to get back at Bryce because he's been posting with and Riley. kissing with Riley? Maybe she was like, well, "How is that getting back so at fast. Bryce?" She's kissing him in the Actually, video. But this guy? Yes, in yeah, the video that we just this. played, <laughs> it's a shadow of them kissing. Did you cut, Sometimes did I you, feel like I'm the only one who uses logic, like, in the world. They're not dating. No, but they did post who is a that video. Guy? What does he do? Is he, like, does is he have a number one hit? No, he's MGK's, like, guitarist. We talked about oh, him a couple weeks right. on the show. Okay, that's a little different. Yeah, he's that's not just a some random redhead guy. Okay. Oh. Okay. So he's, he's like, he could be serenading her with some nice chords. Okay, he could, he's, he's clouded. A rock star. He's clouded yeah, for rock, sure. Yeah, rock stars are for sure rock different. Star. Rock yep. stars yep. are for sure different. They he go in a different he category. Kid Leroy. He's up there. Oh, okay. Well, then don't put this fucking picture on him. It's misleading. Right. Like, why are you, why are you clickbaiting with, like, you're, you're actually setting this guy up. This guy yeah, now you knows set how. Me up. <laughs> no, we've talked about him before. You just don't remember. <laughs> I, if this kid, so he's the guitarist for MGK? Yeah. Yeah. He's, so, Kareem, I don't ever want a picture of this dude if we talk about him again without him holding a guitar. He, this, right, there's a picture right. of him right here. Look, That's the picture they used. The picture that they used on your sheet is this exact picture. We'll put it in the edit. It's him yeah, and Kid next Leroy. Time, next time, yeah, if you kept Dave Kid Leroy, Leroy and I'd be like, that. oh, I shit. I know who Kid Leroy is, but I'd say the same thing about him. Put a guitar in his hand. Right. All right. No photos yeah. of Omar without guitar. Because honestly, hand. both of those kids, if they can't play music and they're just... Well, you know, that in Kid Leroy just raps, actually. They're Kid not Leroy dating. doesn't play music. He raps. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. I know. Yeah, but he doesn't play it. Maybe. Doesn't he just rap? Does All right, he? then put a fucking... Do something to signify he's a rock star as opposed to he's playing the clarinet. You should just wear t-shirts band. that's like, I'm with, I'm with this kid who sings, and it's like an arrow pointing, and then the other one can wear I'm with a guitarist, <laughs> and everyone knows. Yeah, that'll help Dave out. Uh, <laughs> Hayes Greer causes brain damage. Violent star brother NFL QB Will Gear, Hayes Greer arrested for assault and robbery in North Carolina. Hayes was attempting to steal an iPhone from the victim, caused serious uh, injuries, including brain damage. This is all factual. Did I just read facts? Yeah, that's a crazy headline. Hayes Greer causes Holy brain damage. It's is all that true. A fact? All true facts. Yeah, he's he has mug shots out and everything. Damn that, man. What? Yeah. I don't that's know why what, he that's would be what's a I mean I'm guessing it's still an allegedly sort of situation but that is what is yeah. he's accused of yeah that's what he's accused of robbing someone for their phone and just beating their head in damn I, I, he was like the picture perfect path? little boy too everyone loved him he was like a little little sweetheart there's no way there's no way he's down that bad was he not like <laughs> that's what I'm saying why is he stealing a phone isn't he bro not I know rich? you don't need an iPhone I know you don't need an iPhone your brother is an NFL player. Maybe something was on the iPhone that he was trying to hide. Maybe. Yeah. And Nash Greer. I mean, they're still like a giant. I'm pretty sure. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Hayes. I mean, Nash Greer was like dancing to the stars. Nash they're, Greer's huge still. They're all big. Hayes has, looking it up right now, 5.6 million Instagram followers. And he's still doing like ad campaigns bro, and all that stuff. Bro, come on. Why do I feel like, Josh, you're going to end up on Dancing with the Stars? Man, that would be I, sick. I feel like that's like, 
I feel like we've talked about this. I feel like you said this one. Secondly, I feel like it's like that's like my career is over. It's the end. No, mm, no it's like I an don't. End call. I don't think so. I don't think in your role. If you're on the downswing, yes. If you're like your age. On the upswing, I say no. I say that's almost brings you into like a whole new audience of people who don't know who you are because they're kind of like middle America mom and pop. And for you, that's great. I, I think at if you're like 25 and under in social media, I think it's a huge step. I think if you're 45 and over and a retired football player or like a show, an old show, <laughs> you're down. But I think I okay. think that would be a good move. Gruen's probably I'm already sure on the phone. Asked, yeah, Gruen, no, I think I've been call. asked to do it before. What's that? I think I, I I've been asked to do it before. I'm pretty sure. And you said no? Yeah. Oh, I disagree. Bad move. I would have done that. I don't know, man. I feel like, I mean, I'm also I'm too nervous to dancing. dance. I suck at dancing. Like, but they train you. You'd be fine. Yeah, you're right. Shit. Thanks, Bree. I can do it. Do you know what season? Who did? Do you know like who went on instead? No, no, and I could also be just fucking making this up. Or Michael could have came to me one time and been like, "Yo, do you want to do this?" And I like, you know what I mean? Like, I would advise like- yes. To me, that's an odd. Well, like Bree, what do you think? Yeah, I guess I do agree w- with what you said—the under twenty-five thing. Like, if you're old and you have nothing left and you go on it, but Josh, all the like the heartthrob moms, the milfs already love you. Could you imagine how many more milfs you would gain? Totally. I didn't, you I didn't you get like a new audience to advertise to too, like Campbell's soup and shit. I didn't even. Think about the MILF card here. Yeah, MILF yep, card. Big time. It. That's crazy. <laughs> Scarlett Johansson versus Disney. So Scarlett is in a legal battle with Disney after the release of Black Widow. Johnson says Disney breached her contract by releasing Black Widow on Disney Plus and in theaters. Jo- Johansson was promised certain bonuses in correlation to box office, says, but the hybrid release didn't allow her to hit these bonuses. Um, Disney's response, no merit to whatsoever to this filing lawsuit is sad, distressing, callous disregard for COVID. Um, Black Widow on Disney Plus Premier Access significantly enhanced her ability to adern- earn additional compensation on top of the 20 mil to date. It's no secret that Disney releasing films like Black Widow directly onto Disney to increase subscribers and thereby boost the company's stock price. And that's hiding. Oh. Excuse me, that's Scarlet. So Scarlet's saying they're doing to boost subscribers' stock price. Tough one. Yeah. Tough one because yeah. COVID, you can't really release movies normally since COVID started. I will say Disney's fuckers because I have Disney Plus to watch Mandalorian and they put oh, yeah. it, you have to pay even more to see the movie. It's bullshit. Yeah. yeah. And they told Scarlett yeah. that they wouldn't be putting it on Disney Plus. So I think that's the fucked up part. Yeah. I think that's the part. But was that, that before was like COVID hit? I don't know. I think she was just under the impression that she would get bonuses for box offices and they were like, fuck you, we're putting it on Disney Plus. You already made enough. But and the thing does, is, it it's like if you put helps. it in the box office during COVID, she's not going to make money. True. Uh, yeah. 20 mil is pretty solid price, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got a couple of videos to react to. We'll start with modern day therapy. Oh. I know what that is. <laughs> therapy? Why on earth would I go to therapy when I have this? Therapy is expensive and lasts an hour. This is free and lasts two minutes and 35 seconds. All my problems are gone. Sick. She got a million views on that. Two minutes and 35 seconds? What are you doing, man? Having sex four times? <laughs> Buddy, first of all, I like have no problem with that. She didn't say 35 seconds. She said 235. I said that. I said two minutes and 35 seconds. All right. And second. No, I know. You were rattling me. You're like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, I'll take that. I'm, she didn't say what's wrong. No, I think with you. I'm saying, what are you doing, man? Having sex four times in that time? Like, yeah, I think you're missing you, half think. my joke. Right. Oh, you were complimenting me? Yeah. I was like, oh, all right. Attaboy. <laughs> Fist pump. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Um, girl, I don't even know where Silvana finds these trends. I'm like, is that going viral? She's like, yeah. I was like, all right. Uh, girl wants to get married to her sweetheart. <laughs> See that one yet? Me neither. So just so on the Silvana. You, so are you looking for a wife? So, yeah, no, that yeah, was her is. just being like that had nothing to do with me. She's just a, a viral magician, and she knows apparently she probably sends it to Kareem, and Kareem puts it on. And oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. And, we've already discussed. I don't, I don't make the sheets, guys. <laughs> you have say in the sheets. 
I don't. I don't believe that, Kareem. I don't believe that. For I, a I don't second. know how I'm so dumb. I saw that headline. I didn't know what it was going to be. Guy wants bath water from girl. This will not She's be me. I know that. Savon in the tub. Yeah, I wonder who this is going to be. It's fucking weird. If you like smoking weed, let me hear you say hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yo, those guys are fucking weird. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> That was that was me and all the guys on my volleyball team that we were playing this weekend. Cause it was like, what happened? A uh, Livy Dunn like Snapchat me or something. Were you Snapchatting? And, is that who uh, that girl was? Yeah, that's who that girl is. And then like one of the guys on the team was like, "Holy fucking shit!" Like eyes like just like a deer in headlights, right? You know Livy Dunn? And I was like, "Yeah, man. Like, yeah, I, I texted her." And he's like, "What?" This starts freaking out. He's like getting all the. He's like. He fucking knows Livy Dunn. Like, uh, they're all freaking out or whatever. And I was like, I was like, come up on this video. At like two minutes later, I see that video on the For You page. And I was like, hey, boys, you want to make a funny video? So I just got them all in it. And Livy was like, yeah, that's funny. Who's Livy Dunn? She's, just a super great TikTok. looking. She's really pretty. And she um Super hot. Gymnastics at LSU? Yes. Yeah. 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 She's a good comparison is like she's the female Vinnie Hacker in the terms of like a lot of guys yeah, simps. Guys, like guys love yeah. her. Really? That's true. That's true. Yeah, she's beautiful. And she's like super, I don't know, show. Yeah. Have you hung out with her, Josh? Um, I don't think I've like really hung out with her much. Is it in the works now? Oh, yeah, yeah. She's very pretty. Picture of her and Joe Burrow. Oh, I thought you were about to be like, picture of her and her boyfriend. I was like, uh, retract, retract on the statement, retract on the statement. <laughs> <laughs> um, stay six feet away from Bryce Hall. Guys, guys got COVID or what? Come back here with COVID being a thing. I'm gonna feel threatened, and that is a threat. I'm sending this to my lawyer. If you come past this line, six feet, I'm gonna knock you the fuck out. Well, Self-defense. I don't know why you're getting so mad. <laughs> said I'm a 16 year old. Why are you getting mad? Oh God. His life has got has to be exhausting at times. <laughs> People are always trying to fuck with him. Always. There's got to be more to this video. Like, there's no way a kid just like walked in the yeah. He and the kid had to Bryce. antagonize him, right? Like, there's no way he's just in Bryce's radius. And Bryce is like, "Hey, yo, come any closer to me, and I will fucking rock your jaw and call my lawyer." Yeah, self defense. It's it just builds on itself. These videos continually come out of him, so more people probably want to fuck with him, and then 100. it just continues to snowball. Yeah. So he can't say the COVID shit though when he has bangers at his house every week. <laughs> True. Okay. So uh, oh, that, those funny. are headlines this week. Cam and Emily from Too Hot to Handle. Good interview. Uh, coming up next. Roback. Uh, the guys over at Roback have been sending us some of their performance tees, polos, hoodies. I'll be honest. We're in love with their stuff. Roback's performance polos are hand down. Some of the best performance polos in the game. Fabric is comfortable, stretchy. You won't want to take it off. Able to last an entire hot summer day. No one does polos like Roback. Roback's performance hoodies are next level. We've never worn something so soft and stretchy. Do yourself a favor. Go check out their Instagram at Roback or just straight up visit their website, Roback.com, R-H-O-B-A-C. Uh, K.com, use the code Josh, 20% off your first purchase through the end of this week. That's spelled Roback.com, R H O B A C K.com, 20% of all pro performance polos, Q zips, hoodies with code Josh. Check them out at Roback.com. I got this one that they sent, and everyone likes tie dye, so we get the tie dye right here. Fire, they just sent it to me probably wear it this weekend uh and it is great material they've been getting huge traction because it, they fit they're good looking comfortable so rowback rowback.com 20 percent off code josh uh bffs special guests here cam and emily too hot to handle welcome hi thank, thank you, you for having us Hello. so i'm being told you two are like the two hottest people in like the country in the world right now because of this show <laughs> is that like accurate yeah, I'm I think it's common opinion. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that's 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 accurate. Yeah, so, it's the first I've heard of this. <laughs> yeah, right. I love the accents. It's like the, I think it half this. The reason why too hot to handle works is because your accents for Americans. Now, you mm -hmm. yeah, Bree, you're American. a huge fan, right? Yeah, I'm a huge too hot to handle fan. I think season two is better than season one, and you guys were yeah. my favorite. I was always oh, team no. Emily. I was always team Emily. Cam, you slipped up a little bit. I don't know how I felt about you in the beginning, but I ended up loving you guys together. <laughs> yeah, it was it was a roller coaster of emotions for us, uh, yeah. but we got there in the end. We got there. Just about. 
<laughs> yeah. So let me ask you. I I know the show, and I I pretty much know it. I didn't watch season one, and then I I I know Harry, so he became a huge star from it. And then mm-hmm. the show, obviously, the season two is just as big. Is it true? I feel like it's bullshit when they're like they 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 cast you guys for a different show, and then you show up and you find out you're on too hot to handle. Is that really how it goes down, or is are they just kind of playing that up? Yeah. Do you have an idea? Yeah, like I actually swear to God, it is not bullshit. No, it's not. Like they legitimately like the contract, the agreement, everything you see is parties in paradise. They yeah. really do keep it under wraps. It's you know, no one cottons on at all. I mean, we had obviously an inkling because you don't. The show they told us in terms of like you know you're gonna be drinking every night, partying. Sometimes it didn't add up. Yeah, like they said, you got to get drunk every night, and yet they're giving us like one or two drinks a night. Yeah, so you start kind of piecing things together, and you're thinking, oh, hang on, like this this is a big production for Mm. this Pies and Paradise show, and it it doesn't sound like something Netflix would condone or 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 put forward because to me it sounded like a shit show. I was thinking no one's. But you still signed up for it. Yeah, I still went on anyway. (laughs) You know what I mean? So clearly, I thought it'd be alright. And how did you guys find about like how did you get cast for it? Just on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, all through Instagram. Yeah. They reached out to you or you reached out to them? Yeah, no, they reached out to us. Yeah. Well, yeah, reached out to me. They're just a casting agency. How many yeah. followers did you have before the show? Like when they reached out to you? <laughs> Babe, like 6,000. We babies. I had 3, oh, so they searched for you guys. Yeah, they yeah. must have been desperate. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I had, yeah, such, compared to what we're on now, we Wait, literally- how many followers do you guys have now? Both of you. I have 1.9. I'm 1.7. Jeez. That's a cool thought. Nowhere, nowhere near your following, babe. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's insane. That's unreal. That, like, how no, long did it take, though? What was, like, the growth period? How, how long it's been since you got, like, casted? Um, so, I mean, we didn't start getting a follow until the 23rd of June when the show aired. So it's been about, like, just over a yeah, month. Yeah, just over a month. That, that follow. I mean, the following got a lot increased massively. When we came out as a couple, it just, like, skyrocketed. Yeah. It, that was crazy. We grew by, like... It was just actually no. Mine was before we came out because guys thought I was single. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. So when when you guys found out it was too hot to handle on the show, were you like, "Fuck, I'm gonna be famous now"? No, I was just yeah. I was more concerned that I wasn't gonna sleep with him. Yeah, that same for me. <laughs> I didn't even comprehend that. I'm oh, oh, like, this is a this is a massive show. We're gonna do crazy. Like, we're gonna do so well off this. I was just thinking, "Fuck, I can't have sex or do anything for the weeks." <laughs> It was the practicalities that I was first think that was first running through my head. They Not really the picked the horniest people to put on this show. It's crazy. They really did. They honestly did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like, you have to fill out like a horny survey. Or... <laughs> <laughs> how, how I remember they... one of my um, when they were first casting me, like I had to get out like all my vibrators and do what I did. You actually? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I didn't have to do that. I had to but... show them all. Wow. Like, yeah, look at you the horny. Vibrators. So. <laughs> But you guys obviously knew when they tell you it's on Too Hot to Handle, you knew season one, right? You knew how big that was. So when they say, hey, you're on this show, you guys weren't like, oh, my God, we're going to be big stars. Like, that's kind of. I, mean, I can't lie, that, was not, that was not the first thing that ran through my mind. No. Yeah. I like, it's weird because series one, there's like such differences between everyone's kind of popularity. I mean, you've got Harry and Francesca just at the top. And then you've got, you know, a few other people that have done really yeah. well, but there's a lot of people on that series one. Yeah. That just and because ultimately, like, you never know how well you're going to do, like, how you're going to be perceived. Yeah. So, yeah, I just never really thought of it like that. So what happens now? Like, Harry, after that show, like, I, I bump into him all over the place. I see he's in Miami, he's in L.A., he's everywhere. Like, what are you guys planning now? Is Are you going to kind of follow his blueprint and be all over the place social media we got a guy fixing a hand and a thing i don't know what that dude's doing <laughs> but so like yeah. josh does that guy like who is that, that guy have a brain uh maybe like only half it's it's <laughs> yeah, it's tough sorry i got distracted so do you guys have plans now you're still together right clearly yeah so um, so what's the plan so I don't know. Obviously, we can't come to America. Like that's what we want yeah, to do. It's really what, bad. Yeah. But obviously, Boris won't let us. Yeah. So we're kind of stuck in the UK for a while. But we're just getting the brand deals right now, and just like up and coming things like our YouTube. Yeah, it, it's it's difficult. Over here, we've got. Like, I'm assuming you know Love Island. Mm-hmm. 
Like Love Island UK is quite big over here as well. So we're kind of competing with those. Even though it's doing really shit this yeah, year. It's not as good. Which as I'm thankful handle. for. At all. But yeah, so we, we, we want to come over to America when we can. We don't know. But I think you're yeah, talking about the British, the, the, the UK version of Love Island, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's massive, yeah, yeah. massive over here. Um, so we're obviously like kind of competing with those, but mm. the plan is yeah, just to keep going, just be ourselves. Um, we've both got different avenues we'd like to go into, yeah. um, but we're just getting used to this life. It, it's been fucking crazy. The last like mm. four weeks have been just hectic. Yeah, we'll give like, it like two, three weeks, and then Tan is going to be in both your guys' DMs asking oh, you. Guys oh to come yeah, out. just you wait. already know. You already know. <laughs> just wait for Tan to get in there. She, I feel like she's on every two hot to handles cast. Like she just goes through the list. I'm oh, surprised yeah. she's yeah. not in the background. Have you guys talked to her yet? Like, I she guarantee was the one playing in the camera. Yeah. yeah. I guarantee you guys have talked to her, right? You've talked to Tan. I guarantee she's like the smartest clout farmer of all time. I can't say no, I don't know. No, no. I don't, I don't, Once I don't you get to the you? LA, you'll you be don't know who she is. Here, you know? Know. It's bad to say. I actually don't know who she is. I don't no, actually no. know who you're talking about. You will soon. Like anybody yeah. who catches fame like you guys, she's the best. She like she managed to latch on and, and figure out she's good friends with Harry now. And your fr now you're friends with Harry oh, too, right? The one, oh, in, his, is she, the one the, in his is stories. Is she yes, the blonde, blonde girl. Yes, the blonde oh. one. Yes. I, I think she might follow me on TikTok now, actually. So she's, she does. Uh, yeah. She definitely does. Oh, yeah. she's creeping yeah. on in there. Okay. No, she'll probably she... steal you before she steals Cam. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's what she that. did to Harry. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, I look forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have any regrets? Anything that's like, oh man, I wish I didn't do that during the show? Um, that we didn't actually have sex. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I mean that that's that's good, right? And now, remind me, you guys aren't having sex because you get penalized if you do it. They take money out, but there's only one winner. So in hindsight, you guys could have been having sex and it wouldn't have changed oh, anything, right. right? Which is why I was annoyed because at the time we didn't know there's only going to be one winner. We thought yeah. the money was going to be split equally like last time. And then obviously with Marvin and Melinda having sex, I was like, fuck that, that should have been us. Yeah. I'm that well, was a slap in the face because they did have sex and then Marvin won. You guys didn't have sex and you Cam know what I mean. Yeah. How long how long is the show from start to end? Three weeks, just over three weeks, like three, four, I think. Yeah, four three, weeks. Four weeks. Yeah. I mean, you guys are really and I get it, that's a long time, but you guys are making this sound like you went years. And there is an <laughs> argument if you can't have sex for like a month or three weeks and you're with somebody, it's probably better than though the first time you have sex because you have to wait. So there yeah. is some sort of reward with that. There is a light at the end of the tunnel, I yeah. do agree. But that's, yeah. that's the thing with the show. The concept is actually, it's a very smart concept yeah. and, and it kind of breaks apart a lot of the stigma around like young relationships. You know, people in the 20s and 30s is just, you know, fuck, 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 sex. It's, there's nothing more to it. So I think the show itself, that's why I enjoyed the show because the concept mm -hmm. was a lot deeper than other reality shows. So How much money did you guys both like personally lose the group right? or whatever, however it works? Uh, we spent quite a bit. You guys no, were kind of bad. It was only like 21K. Was like, yeah, I think I was a bit higher because I just, I, I, I wanted the yeah. shower. So, yeah, you yeah. had the shower. Right, you're just yanking off it off scene. left and right. Just yeah, spending yeah. 2,000 bucks every night. That sucks. Yeah, actually, that's <laughs> another thing I regret that I didn't have my own jerk off scene in the shower. I feel like it wouldn't have gone down as well. <laughs> I, I feel like I, as, as a boy, that's funny. As a girl, I think people might be like, oh, God, okay. It probably would have still done all right. Yeah, what? I feel like people probably would have watched it. Yeah. So. I feel like that would have been people more comment like TV gold. People definitely would have watched it. Yeah, fuck. What's the deal with this dude, Chase? Do we have issues with him, beef with uh, him? We have a TikTok here. He's trying to like <laughs> act like Emily's going to see him. Can I see this TikTok? Like, what's going on here? This is the drama. <laughs> Chase yeah. is crazy on TikTok. He loves to start the drama. So do you guys hate this dude? No, I mean, uh, when it happened, this has happened a while ago. He was making these kind of fake TikToks, trying to like come at me before me and Em were allowed to announce his relationship. So it was when we were in this like phase of, we were still technically single to the world. He started- but A secret relationship yeah. is a better way of phrasing Yeah, that's it. it. Yeah, sorry, yeah. <laughs> he started making these like TikToks and he, he kind of knew they were, they were going to push my buttons. And I think he- he saw how well we were both doing. I think he was trying to get in on that and he was trying to get the wheels moving a bit, which like fair play to him. Um, but at the time it did, it pissed me off at the time. We're, we're fine now, you know, we've reached out to each other yeah. and I've said, you know, I, I don't want any negative energy with, with anyone from the show. But at the time I was not happy with yeah. that. Yeah, no. like we could see what he was trying to do. He was trying to be like the villain, 
and like it was just it was just annoying yeah being the villain to like build his own basically persona basically yeah, is that exactly. why exactly. it was yeah it was essentially using our clout to boost his own clout that's 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 how he yeah. was going for it was a smart move for him but you know it did it piss me off so is there that feeling which i can imagine you guys just both kind of said it you know what happened with season one is life-changing for like harry and francesca you're on the same show and you know okay only maybe two, three people out of the show. Maybe it'll be life changing for everybody else. May go back to their regular lives. Is there pressure to kind of like what you're saying Chase was doing to capitalize to be like, wait a minute, this right. is be like those our two moment. Yeah. Um, yeah, in a sense, because like Cam said, with the Love Island show going on right now in the UK, we've got them to compete with. And season three is coming out. See- for us. Did you fucking see that? Netflix, that they advertised for season three Netflix already. I was fuming. <laughs> I literally commented straight away going, are you fucking joking? Yeah. She texted she text me. She's like, have you seen Netflix account? I was like, yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it. But, I was livid. Yeah. But uh, so yeah, we've also got that, that to, uh, can't wear that, got that to compete with. So yeah, there is a bit of like pressure. Um, yeah, I think you know going into it that you're, your relevance is very short lived. Yeah. Like you've got to accept that. You can't you can't fear that or, or like you've got to just roll with that and go, okay, take advantage of the time I've got and have you've got to have a long term plan in place as well. You know, like Harry's Harry and Francesca have done well because they've they've kind of transcended from to what the handle become something else. Yeah. You know, it's, so it's you've got to be quite smart with it all. Yeah, like I'm already thinking of what cheating scandal I'm gonna come up with. <laughs> I, I can already tell yeah i already i like the way you think you got everything like down do you guys already have a team and managers or are you still just kind of yeah. flying by the seat of your pants yeah he, he's got the same manager as harry yeah oh, okay who's that who's that uh it's Ingen- ingenuity got it yeah okay. so they're a re- really good team we both got i mean you've got your own team i've got yeah. my team so we've we're, we're we're trying to play it smart and we're trying to do what we want to do and you know make sure there's a long-term plan with both of us yeah because like i said you you have your 15 minutes of fame technically and then uh oh my god so we were out for dinner one night yeah and this guy this really fat finance guy came up to us he's like (laughs) oh hey you're ryan from talk to handle is it mike ruin (laughs) oh come on no i sorry go ahead (laughs) that was a low blow by me the guy we know It's Josh's he manager. Like, he was like, you're Ryan from Talk to Handle. And he was like, no, I'm not. Anyway, he was like chatting to us for ages. And he was like, well, anyway, enjoy your 15 minutes of fame. And just like walked off. And I was like, I right, see you, fat prick. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think so. There is that yeah. element, I think, and you guys, I, the bigger you get, you're going to run into it where there's just jealousy. It's like, you know, yeah. you got on a reality show, you explode overnight and living a life that, I think a lot of people would love, you know, dream of, and there's just anger. That's with Josh. That's with me. That's with everybody in the public eye. And you know, that that's going to just get bigger probably as you guys continue to grow. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah definitely. Yeah. yeah. There's always going to be room for jealousy. <clears throat> Were you guys ever able to like sneak, sneak shit past Lana? Like the little, the little, whatever it is called. Yeah. How, is yeah. there any privacy? Like, are there cameras in every single crevice of the like, villa? Even the toilet. There's cam. Yeah. I mean, the toilet camera is just there for security. So like they they got security cameras in the toilet, but like literally you are filmed everywhere. You're mic'd yeah. up 24 seven. So even if you want to try and do something, they're going to fucking hear you. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. literally like, there's no privacy. Like there even in the kitchen, right? When we'd eat, like even though there's no, there's no cameras in the kitchen, but you still have to be mic'd up. So I'd like try and kiss him and then they'd hear me on the mics. Yeah. So I'd get the CLT Send team to come and they're like, go stop Emily and Cam, go, 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 go. You literally have people run up like, yeah, get off each other, get off each other. Like, well, we're just trying to have a fucking kiss by the dishwasher. So it's, <laughs> yeah, honestly, it's like a military operation sometimes. That's crazy. With- Do you guys think if you were to meet at like a bar hook up one night you would still be dating or do you think that the show really helped you and that's like the only reason you're still together yeah we've spoken about this yeah. and 100 percent we would have just fucked that night and never spoken again yeah i probably would have just we, we, we would have just done yeah that. we wouldn't have exactly had, yeah no, because if i'd known worked. him out on the outside world like he would have still been a fuck boy and i would have thought he was a prick yeah. but he's still hot so i would have slept with him yeah i mean i legit needed that show that show yeah. was like therapy for me honestly it was um and when people say did it actually change you it 100 percent did because you've just got to go balls to the wall and like immerse yourself in it and mm. you know we're clearly there for a reason uh so i just thought i'm gonna go 
you know, 100 miles per hour and just, and just kind of get involved with everything and open myself up. What's the difference between a fuck boy and a fuck girl then? Like, if you're just like, I'm going to fuck, I would just fucked him and gone on my way on the first date. Like, aren't, is right. that just like, the same really thing? Is? Well, because she knew that he was a fuck boy. Like, if so she's, maybe if he she's... thought she was a fuck girl. What's the difference? Yeah, yeah, he, he couldn't know. I, but I, yeah. I think fuck boys are a lot more manipulative than fuck girls. I think fuck boys Whoa. are, uh, they're dangerous. Fuck boys yeah, are dangerous. Fuck girls are the victims. A lot victims. More yeah. Minded. Uh, with fuck boys they play this psychological I, game i don't know if Strong i agree with disagree. this one. yeah like, yeah i couldn't disagree more than that and yeah. she's openly <laughs> saying it she's she basically in this interview has said everything you've said the same way except yep. that somehow you have the fuck but she's a fuck girl apparently because you're both like yeah we would have fucked and that would have been it yeah that i think that would have been yeah yeah, yeah so but that, actually, you can't you can't put us in the same category because i'm sure you'd sit there and say oh i'm a slut but he's not no i don't know i wouldn't i i, well, I, I wouldn't I put you guys in the same. I'm, I'm super. Yeah, we impressed. just call you both sluts. Actually, we just put. Yeah, hey, yeah both we sluts. both like the fuck. Big deal. What yeah. was the last time you guys each had a relationship before the show? Four years for me. Mm. Yeah, mean, mine was lucky here. I've only ever. This is my second relationship. So for me. And guess what his ex girlfriend was called? <laughs> what? What? Same Emily. Name. Same name. Oh, oh same wow. Name. A lot easier. <laughs> yeah. A lot easier. Yeah, all this family know my name. They always call me M. Like they know me. I'm like, yeah. So how long have you guys actually been together at this point? Like, what's the exact time? December the 16th is when he asked me to be his girlfriend. December the 16th. Oh, it's good oh, that you have right. that. Amer so that's like six months almost. Uh, yeah, coming up about seven months. Okay. Yeah. All right. And it's still going strong. Maybe it is a good thing for the experience. I think so. I, think so. I really think so, yeah. Yeah, definitely. You guys are like the less toxic version of Harry and Francesca from last season. <laughs> right. You seem yeah. like a little healthier. <laughs> Yeah, like we don't do games. Yeah, I think people people were probably expecting it because I think a lot of people do in that sphere. Like relationships can become toxic sometimes for publicity, sometimes for not. But like we're just, it's not toxic at all. We've never mm. really don't argue. We've never broken up or anything like that. Yeah. So yeah. So are you guys, uh, you both have to be getting a gazillion like DMs. People slide in. You're just ignoring all that. Just are you not even looking at anything right now because you're like a celebrity couple. Yeah, do you know what? I'm really surprised, and I don't know if I should be slightly offended, but like, no famous guys slid slid in my DMs. <laughs> really? Maybe that's a compliment to him. Though. Like, I don't have a chance. Yeah, yeah, that really that, has offended me. Offend you. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, that what about you? Have you had any girls, famous? Girls? I mean, yeah. I mean, my, my DMs are full of a lot of that. I don't really look at them, you know. But when I go looking through, if any brands have contacted me, they're all, they are all there. Um, but yeah, I don't look at them. You know? I don't. I don't. <laughs> all right, wow. if you say so. <laughs> On the show, did you guys think anybody was just totally fake, just trying to manipulate it? Like, there, I mean, Melinda or Peter, obviously, she was deciding between the two. Like, what do you guys, what did you think of the other competitors? Or are you just going to play it safe here? <laughs> wow. I feel well, like they think something. <laughs> yeah, they think well, something, but I think I'm, they're playing we've safe cards. i off by Netflix for talking too much. So. I, I mean,. The thing is, it's hard to know when, because when you're in there, you kind of lose track of what's what's real and what's not. And like, because you don't know any of these people, you don't know if they're playing a game, if they're not. Um, obviously, when, when we came out, you know, things have changed a lot since the show's aired between certain couples. <clears throat> it, it's hard to know what, what's true and what's not. I think yeah. we try not to get involved like, in that. Yeah, and like, definitely like when we were in the villa, like I felt like some people were just playing the game and, you yeah. know, kissing people for the sake of it. And doing silly things like that, but yeah, you know, I, I wouldn't mention names, but people know people know what they're doing. They know when the cameras go on, right? Bam! That's that's you're, you're yeah. A, you're a different that was there. another annoying thing. Like we would see like two sides to people, like people off camera, and then when they get in front of the camera, it's like who the they're fuck like, are you? Right. And like full energy, like big dick energy. Yeah. When the cameras go off and they're just like mute. It's it was yeah weird. It's so weird. But then that's like. I don't know if that's what Americans are like. Like we were, the, we were the only English people on the show. Wait, what was the short guy with the curly hair's name? Pete. 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 Yeah. So you guys are talking about him, probably. No. 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 no, actually no. Not. Pete, Pete was. Pete was. No. Doing Pete was. Or the, the one that kissed Melinda and Carly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's he's great. Great. He was amazing. Yeah. He's yeah, great. He I seemed like it. he would be a fuck boy. Oh, I think he probably is. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. he is. Don't, don't he's, a, he's a nice person. Yeah. Lovely. He's a great okay. guy. At the end of the day. What's Just that? a fuck boy. I said great guy at the end of the day, just a fuckboy. Yeah, yeah. Great guy, just a fuckboy. Yeah, yeah, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with a fuckboy. Well, I, I can't believe you two are the only ones 
that weren't American. You two had the only accents on the show. That's like fishing with dynamite. That's like right. wildly unfair. And Marvin. Marvin was um, from Paris. Yeah, true, true. Yeah. Yeah. Did I'm you more- guys ever doubt each other's intentions at all? Yeah, no. Cam yeah. almost fell to fell into the trap of uh, Why? twice. Why? Yeah, he almost Why? let Emily down. How did you feel during that, Emily? Honestly, heartbroken. Like, obviously, you don't see it, but I literally ripped my mic off. I was like, I'm fucking going home. Fuck everyone. It was awful. Like, mm, just to, because he lied to my face mm-hmm. about it the date as well, which was even worse. <laughs> but watching them come up the stairs hand in hand. Oh, that was that-, that was so mean that you came up holding her hand, Cam. That was evil. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Looking looking back on it, I, I I even watched it and I was like, "Fuck." Yeah, it's bad like, luck. Bad. I was like, <laughs> "Why did I do we, that?" So when I was able to first watch the show back, that's we actually had our first and only ever argument when I watched that it scene. It was heated, a fucking full on. Yeah, deserved. Like we were, deserved. We were in the hotel room screaming like our man, like our manager was outside the door, like, "Is everything okay?" I was like, "Just leave." I had pretty good noise complaints because it was just it had to happen. Though. I feel like it was just a build up of like we never really addressed it. And... Yeah, and for me, it was like obviously I knew it was coming, but actually seeing it was different. Like because obviously there was bits that he still missed out, and that. Yeah. So. yeah I mean, I, how did um, you get past that? Like, how'd you how'd you just put it aside? And be like, whatever. I'm gonna give him a pass, basically. At the time, you mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, well, it was over a course of like three or four days. Like in the show, it only looks like one day, but it was. Mm. He was in the doghouse. Are you okay, huh? Sorry. <laughs> he was in the doghouse for three days, um, and he had to do like a lot of groveling. And just proved to me that, you know, he was there for me and he was just thinking of his penis on the date rather than his head. Yeah, I had to do a lot of explaining. I think like I always I always explained the situation very well. And I always understood even though I'm, what I'm doing is wrong, I kind of knew it was wrong. I wasn't being a full on like prick about it. Well, yeah, you are. So <laughs> so let me let me just see if I got that logic that works. Yeah, yeah. If you do something wrong <laughs> and you know you're doing something wrong, it's probably it's okay. you're, you're a good guy. <laughs> Yeah, I feel yeah. I feel like as long as you're being open and transparent <laughs> and honest about it, and you're like, okay, yeah, but you won. Usually, yeah. like murder. It, 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 like it took him a little bit to get there, but he did get there. Yeah. We got there. We got there. Yeah, we only it's got there on. because I pulled the other girl aside and we had a chat. Yes, he didn't talk shit. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm very used to like as you saw spinning plates and just kind of seeing a v- bunch of different girls at once. Like there was a time where like, the most amount of girls I was seeing, I was seeing about eighteen girls at once. So I'm eighteen. Fuck. Yeah, no. Eighteen. Yeah, there was a full system in play. S- what did you like, call it? Spinning were... plates. Is that what spinning you just called spinning it? Spinning plates. Yeah. In place. Wow. So I, I've I've always been very used to that. So on the show, it was a bit of realization. I, was like, I don't even know who you are anymore. Wait, 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 wait all wait, of their wait. names, Emily. We're, we're about to have break up the relationship. <laughs> I, I have like nine thousand questions. You sing eighteen. When you say sing eighteen girls at once, what does that mean? So do like, they all know? So dating. So I'd be dating or sleeping with the eighteen. We're girls using once, condoms. Or, or chatting to. Yeah. On them every time. Safe sex is good sex. No, you are. <laughs> how oh, do you my- see eighteen <laughs> girls? How often do you talk? Like, oh, how, how how do you even do that? It, so it was. I was in. I was in uni, and I wasn't really doing my course. I was just like. I was a serial there. Essentially, I was like an. Es- I wasn't an escort, but I was like <laughs> seeing all these. Girls. You were an I escort. Had like an- <laughs> No, I, I wasn't an actual escort, but I had on my notes. You know they're going to clip this now. Yeah, just no, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, just, it, that's why I tried to retrace. I, I'm still <laughs> like, to me, that may be, and I don't know if it's a compliment or an insult, that may be the most like impressive thing. I have 18 girls. Did yeah, they all How are you so organized? I mean, no, they didn't know. <laughs> now they do. Now they probably yeah. do. But I mean, yeah, I was just, I had a problem. I was addicted to female attention and female like gratification. So for And me, female genitalia for, area. Yeah, and that. So, for me, it was like, it was all an ego thing. 18, will you talk to them every day? All 18 of them? Yeah, so I'd... I'd, I'd That's <laughs> I'd, crazy. So I'd, I'd normally sit down in the morning and do my replies, and I'd sit down in the afternoon oh, then and do God. some more replies. Some I'd speak to more than others. It was all it was all dependent on how much I liked them. Wait, and is how that... often did they bump <laughs> into so each bad. other? What's like, is the all the same area that you lived in? Yeah, so it was in uni, so like everyone's in the kind in of In the uni same area. uni? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, that's dangerous. Well, it dangerous. Was playing with fire for sure. Yeah, that's why I didn't really go on nights out that much. I, I remember I went on one night out before, and there was like six of them all in one place, and I was like, "Fuck!" So I said to my boys, "I was like, I need to go." I was like, "This is not good for me." 
Um, so yeah, I didn't go on nights out that much. I was just a single. Hang on, day. hang on. Whoa, 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 that's what you said to me last night at the club. What? That's exactly what you said. <laughs> that is exactly what you said. What's no one there? Uh oh. <laughs> well, I mean, I was just, are you winding me up? No, obviously there was no one there. You know that. <laughs> We're getting a live fight. Live, <laughs> do you live uh, together? Yeah. We do. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you have to. Like, this is you. You couldn't not live together and trust each other. I mean, this guy. Nah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. This guy's guy spinning is... plates with 18 people. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, we've had like, I mean, I moved in in like February. Um, so we haven't really spent that much time away from each other. But this time has been so good for our trust because that's why, like you said earlier, even though we have people sliding into our DMs, even getting attention at clubs, we just trust each other. I, I'm never thinking, fuck, she's going to go off someone else. I think you, you think the same. Uh, well, I'm kind of thinking otherwise now. <laughs> 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 18 that's yeah. fucking impossible that is did you yeah. were you like ugly growing up did you have no attention from females and then have a glow up and you were just yeah, obsessed with girls well yeah so it was after my it was after my my breakup so i had a break i had quite a very bad breakup um my ex broke up with me uh, and i just went into a spiral of okay right i'm gonna hurt other people because i've been hurt and it was like i don't want to form any attachments i don't want to build my I, I built up all these walls and i was like fuck it i'm just gonna go they all these girls. The villain story. The no, yeah, that's it. The typical, the demon, typical fuck boy villain story. Never his fault. Always someone else. <laughs> well, I mean, and his rationale, which is still one of the craziest rationales. Well, right. I did something wrong, but I knew it was wrong, so I'm good. That, that is crazy. That's a crazy thinking. Like murderers know they're going to commit a murder. Like 95 percent of the time, I don't think that gives them the pass in court. Murderer. Yeah. That is wild. That is absolutely wild. All right. So today's episode is special. It's brought to us by Tinder. And there's always another first thing waiting for you on Tinder. So to kick this off, we want to play a little quick game. So say the first thing that comes to mind. So you two answer first thing that comes to mind. The first headliner that comes to mind that you do anything to see this summer. Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> Jimmy Buffett. Um, fuck. Uh, Drake, I don't know. Drake, okay. <laughs> All right, second one. You're on your first Tinder date, and you have to bring a third wheel. Who are you guys choosing? Probably fucking Gaz. Gaz is raising his hand. Yeah, <laughs> as pathetic as that is. <laughs> uh, I'll bring probably Gavin. I mean, okay, good. The last one. You spot one of your Tinder matches with their friends. You walk over, and the first thing you say is, "Hey, we matched on Tinder." Yo, what's up? I asked about your arch game. <laughs> oh, good okay. one. Okay, good. All right, so that's the game. You can go on Tinder and find your next first date today. Um, I don't know, Bree. I mean, you're the super fan. You got any more questions that you wanted for them before we play the game? Um, well, I saw that Francesca has recently been doing more reality TV. She went on Love is Blind. Would you guys <sighs> ever do more reality TV or did that, like, fuck you guys up? <laughs> uh, 100% I would. He would? Yeah. Obviously not Thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, yeah. We do something together. I mean, we're we're in, we're in chats for potentially another show coming in the year or yeah. start of next year. Um, we'd love to do something together. Yeah, um, I really want to do a cooking show like Celebrity Bake Off. Yeah, that's my you, favorite show. Do you guys know what Bake Off is? Do, do, do you have that? I'm sure you don't have Bake Off. I mean, off it sounds like celebrities well, just British baking. That's <laughs> yeah. what I was, yeah. I was yeah. <laughs> yeah. Self explanatory. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we have similar shit like that. I don't know if we have that specific show. So, and not to go back, you guys said you were found just randomly, but both of you clearly seem like you have a desire to be in the public eye, more reality. I'm fascinated. How did they know that? Had you applied for fantasy uh, reality shows in the past or anything, or were you just living normal lives besides the spinning plates? <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, I've been approached for Love Island in the past, mm. um, but it never went anywhere. And it was like literally one time. And they, again, they approached me. So I don't, it wasn't like my CV was out there. I really don't know mm -hmm. how they found me. But really you guys don't. must have been These posting thirst traps and then they found like That's all it. the... I think they... <laughs> Maybe, oh, actually I was dating a guy in the public eye just before I got approached. Okay. And I might have been, oh, wait, no, was I? No, that was after Who? actually. I mean, you... Oh, you probably don't know him, Rogan. Like Seth Rogan. Rogan. Joe Rogan. Oh. That would be, that'd be a big upgrade. Seth Rogan, yeah, Rogan. Yeah. Seth Rogan. Sick. No, <laughs> he was... The guy on the challenge, Rogan O'Connor. Oh, pull up a picture. I probably know him. 
On what? Ch- what's the challenge? The challenge is an amazing show MC, on MTV. MC oh, there you oh, go. Oh, I love that. Oh, look at him. That was on holiday with me, that picture. Love that. Sunsets love. and Sangria. Yeah, this, guy, this guy's feeling great. Yeah. Oh, there's a comment <laughs> from you. It says, I miss you, Rogue. <laughs> Little heart. <laughs> Imagine if you saw that there, a comment from you. Oh, I I'm just kidding. It wasn't no, that, that was not her. <laughs> no, I was yeah. just kidding. Oh. I, I was like, we got a problem. I was ready for this thing to explode. Yeah, that was actually yeah. her comment. Um, yeah, I was like, oh, yeah. Oh. Let's, <laughs> let's do, although you can go see if people, she liked anything. Let's do uh, FMK. Let's do, we play this game. Bree, want to set it up? Yeah, so we're going to do Fuck, Mary Kill with you guys. Obviously, it's perfect because you're like the horniest people in the world. Love yeah, it. Love it. Let's go. All right. So first, Marvin, <laughs> Nathan, and Chase, all from Too Hot to Handle season two. Oh, fuck Marvin, marry Nathan, kill Chase. Same. Oh, perfect. Okay. The middle wow. guy was too ripped. You can be too ripped. That guy has, is, he's like, he looks uh, like he's doing I saw him steroids. at Rolling yeah, Loud and there were girls like surrounding him and he was eating it up. He was just taking selfies with everyone oh, at the concert. Yeah. He loves me. He lo- he <laughs> we loves absolutely me. love Nathan. Yeah. Like, oh my God, he's amazing. Yeah, such a nice boy. All right, next. Uh, Christina, <laughs> Kayla Carter, and Tabitha oh, Cliff. Uh, okay. Fuck Christina. Um, marry Kayla, and I'd have to kill Tabitha just because she's too damn sexy. Yeah, I don't know who these. Kayla's by far the prettiest. So Christina yeah. was on. Yeah, that's Christina that was on the show, right? Yeah. That doesn't look like it, her. It doesn't no. look like her, but that is her, and that is who Cam almost yeah, fell temptation is- to. Yeah. yeah, and then the other girls, uh, Tabitha. Uh, yes, yeah. was in the shower, and she wanted you yeah. to get in with her. And yeah. Kayla's on the show too. Yeah. yeah, Kayla's amazing. So what wow. was your Talented answer? Talented cast. I'd... <laughs> I'd... I think it's to I'd fuck Christina, marry Kayla, and, yeah, kill Tabitha. Can you stop copying me? Well, it was either fuck Tabitha or Christina. I was always going to marry Kayla. I feel like she's kind of a bit more wifey material than Tabitha and Christina. Okay. Um, so it was either fuck one of those two. Uh, so, yeah, that would be my answer. I bet it fucking would be. <laughs> Okay, next is Peter, Harry Jowsey, and Joey Joy. They're all from the show, too. But Harry, first okay. season. Um, oh. I think I've fucked Harry, married Peter. Joey's at a severe no. disadvantage. The other two are shirtless. Would, yeah, right? He's not showing off the assets. Not the best picture of him, though, I have to admit. Yeah. I'd fuck Harry, marry Joey, because I think he's minted. And that's a half kill Peter. Kill you kill Peter? Nah, I'd marry Peter. I'd have to kill Joey. Although I love him, I think I'd have to, to marry Peter. Hmm. Uh. So having a threesome with Harry? Uh, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Harry's capitalizing on that already. You right, when you guys that. get he's, to LA, threesome with yep. Harry. <laughs> <laughs> More girls, please. More girls. A lot of okay, Francesca Fargo, Melinda Melrose, Carly Lawrence, all from the show as well. Okay. Um, I think I'd fuck Francesca, marry Carly, kill Carly. <gasps> Melinda was my favorite. No, I think I'd marry. No, I'd no marry, I would, I'm I'd going with. Melinda. I'm going. Fuck Melinda, marry Francesca, kill Why Carly. don't you like Carly? And you gave him a pardon when he said marry yeah. Carly. What, what's well, the just, problem with Carly? Super posh. It was super posh. That was a bit of a shock to me. That's all. It's just based on my type, you know? No, like, yeah, just, yeah, based on time. Why are you giving, <laughs> so, is there like backstory with Carly? No, there's actually not. Um, she's just, I don't know. She's just a bit. What does that mean? She's a bit crazy. Ow. This is the first, you guys, the first, like, <laughs> sort of, Shut like, up, you. you're not on the same <laughs> page with crazy. Carly at all. Yeah, no. Yeah. No, there's like, something No, like, we do, like, we do chat, but just, like, I don't know, she's in the villa, especially, like, she was fucking all over the shop. Yeah. Like, she's got screw loose. But Cam, <laughs> Cam said Mary. <laughs> That's why I was like, pardon? Uh, yeah, she's, you know, she's a attractive girl. And- I said, I no, she's very attractive. Yeah, totally. Yeah. I, actually th- I actually think, like, judging on her Instagram, she's got a lot better now. Like in the in the villa, she just was wasn't right, was she? Yeah, she's yeah, she's. I think maybe the pressure and anxiety was getting to her. Yeah, but, she's, doing, uh, she's, she's, do, she's doing a lot better now. Yeah, she looks like she's doing a lot better now. But in the Frozen. villa, like, yeah, she's crazy. Go. Like, yeah. 
This is an interesting game to okay. play with a couple. Is there more? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I said it. I yeah, no, no. They, I mean, they say, listen, they got to have ultimate trust. I mean, if 18, 18 at once, spinning plates, you have to have <laughs> ultimate trust. Yeah, you That's really got to trust this guy now. I, it was crazy. What's an appropriate spinning plate number then for you two? Like what would be, assuming that you were single, Dave is, is not, I want to emphasize. Dave, don't even answer this. No, you can, I think. <laughs> yeah. How many plates do you think you could spin without 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 being rattled? How many plates? Without just, like uh, being stressed, like you're caught, you mean, or what? How like many five did you, is five? How many did you say, Josh? I, I mean, without being caught, I would say... I don't know, man. Like, I don't really, I'm so bad at texting. So it would have to be like, I would have to like literally schedule two times a day where I spend texting like this guy. And Love then, it. so it may be like, maybe like, maybe five. I don't know. Jeez. That's 18, 18 psychopath. You have to have yeah, nothing else going is on in your life. It's a full-time yeah. job and it's stressful. I mean, I, I, that's the thing. Like, I didn't have anything else good in my life. So it was, <laughs> that was my job. I mean, it didn't, the 18 didn't last long. That was just a maximum capacity it had been at. Right. Um, but yeah, it was very hard. It was stressful. Have to admit. It's like any any job, you know. There's a lot of stress involved. So yeah. You guys, you guys don't use WhatsApp, do you? You or just iMessage? What's that? You don't use WhatsApp, do you? No, I don't. Yeah. No. That's mental. WhatsApp is like the main thing of it. Like no one uses iMessage. Yeah, we here. don't text here. It's just WhatsApp. That's sometimes like my manager will message me on iMessage, and I'm like, What are you what's, doing? What's going on yeah. Here? Yeah. No, strictly text. Strictly like. Instagram DMs is how I communicate with people. That's crazy. Snap, Snapchat's bigger. Snapchat's not big here at all, but it's big over with you guys. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. big. I don't use that that much. But Josh, like, what do you use now? I just, I either use texts or like Snap, I guess. Like, it's a, it's a little bit of both. Yeah. How do you guys what? think you would do on this show? Dave, Josh, Brianna. Like, if you guys are single, do you guys think you would Like, how would you do? I think it's easier. Oh, for I girls. never lose. I never lose. <laughs> Josh, Josh, you would you would cost like three thousand dollars the first four hours. What? I don't know. I, I, I'd be like twice the age. I, I I wouldn't say I'd do great, but I'm a living room guy, so it's like if you have to spend time with me, I'll, I'll start making you laugh, and then who knows? <laughs> then it's game over. Yeah. What What about Instagram now? I'm so curious. I'm still around. Are Are you on Instagram liking people's pics right now, Cam? No, no, no. I mean Cam? nothing. No, nothing. No, not no, one, not no, one hot girl. Only friends, family, and her now. That's strict. Yeah, I feel like it's not something that I want to be doing. Liking girls. No, you don't. Because do you know what? He's gone from crafty cam to commitment cam. Yeah, all about commitment cam now. No more crafty ways. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, well, Beautiful. that's good. You changed yeah, your nickname officially and everything. What'd you say, Josh? Huh? I said, did you change your nickname officially and everything? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was. That, 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 that's a big it was commitment. done on the show. They loved it. They loved it on the show because mm -hmm. I called myself Plastic Cam, and then I and then everyone started calling me Commitment Cam. And they were like, "Okay, keep, yeah, keep saying, that, keep saying." It. I was like, "Okay, it's completely like this." Yeah, they liked that one. Rolls off, rolls off the tongue. <laughs> I I love it. It's an interesting couple. Uh, congratulations! I'm like fascinated now to see. I'm sure once you guys are in the United States, you're going to start popping up everywhere. So look forward to it. Yeah, I'm rooting for you yeah. guys. Yeah. As as we can. Thank you guys. I'm gonna use spinning plates, by the way. I'm I'm like taking that now. That is 100 <laughs> percent right. gonna be in my book. I can't book, do it. Yeah. I can't do it anymore. You, you can have it. Have that. Trademark it. Yeah. We'll give it to Josh. All right. Yeah, Emily and Cam, appreciate it. Best of luck, and I'm sure we'll be yep. seeing you guys soon. Thank Thank you. Thanks so for having us. Bye guys. Bye guys. Take care. Bye.